a minute? Certainly. I trust you're well? Doing great. I found a load of old weapons, just got done hauling them out of storage. Old weapons, you say? If there are any interesting swords in there, I would love to see them. They might only be good for training, but with a little care, who knows? Here, have some oil. And uh, why exactly are you giving this to me? Like I said, they need a little care. With a bit of maintenance, some of these will really shine. Yes, I heard you. So why did you give me the oil? It's for polishing, Lawrence. Don't tell me you've never polished a weapon before. But that is hardly a task befitting someone of my station. If you had an exquisite blade, something of real historical significance to complement my noble heritage, that would be another matter. In that case, appraise while you polish, you're bound to find something good working through these. This seems as fine an occasion as any to air my grievances. I am a highborn noble. As such, it is my sworn duty to protect the common folk. I have no time for trivialities. What's more, you seem to be under the misapprehension that you can order me about. Please think carefully about how you speak to me. I'm not ordering you around. And I'm not talking to you as a noble, either. I'm asking you to help me with this. As a friend. I am your friend. But I am also a noble. Those two qualities are not mutually exclusive. Oh, good. Let's get to it, then, buddy. Hello, Leone. Busy as usual, I see. Yep, lots to do. Not like you fancy nobles. Hey, can't you see all this stuff I'm carrying? Come on, move over already. Alas, I cannot comply with your request. Can't even ask a noble to take a step to the side, huh? That's a joke, right? You're kidding. You've injured your foot. I could tell immediately by the way you are favoring it. <laughs> what? Heavy lifting will only worsen the injury. Please, permit me to examine it. Hey, cut that out! Isn't that improper or something, bowing to a commoner? I am not bowing to you. I am tending your wound. Th that's not what it'll look like. Hey, it's fine. Leave it. Easing the burdens of the common folk is a natural obligation of the nobility. Now hold still and keep quiet for a moment, if you would be so kind. That's a real pretty way to talk about sitting around in castles doing nothing. Let me tell you, everyone in my village is so grateful to be taxed up to the eyeballs for the privilege of... Ow! Oh, it's quite swollen. And you're feverish. Fortunately, I do have an ointment here that should be of use. What? You just carry that stuff around with you? Certainly. It won't do to be unprepared if I happen across someone in need. I don't get you, Lawrence. It seems I've neglected to pack bandages. I'm afraid this handkerchief will have to suffice. What, that fancy thing? Bit of a waste, isn't it? Hey, no thanks. I don't need some noble's pity. What about the help of a friend? I am as much that as I am a noble, if you recall. More of your weird logic. There, that should ease the pain. And since you are recovering, allow me to carry this burden for you as well. There we are. Now, farewell. <sighs> I really don't understand that guy. Oh no, I completely forgot to thank him. Hey, got a minute? Ah, uh, Leone, are we to sharpen swords again? No, I came to give you this handkerchief back. Sorry, I know I held on to it for a while. You lent me this, remember? I recall giving it to you. It is a noble's duty to give to the common folk. In return, the commoner need only pay respect. That's nice. You left out the part where the nobles take all the stuff the regular folks make? Yes, the common folk give the fruits of their labor, willingly, I might add, as a token of that respect. The head of San Village offers his tribute in exactly that spirit, you know. San? That's my village. You knew? Of course. We granted exclusive hunting rights to San and forbade outsiders from poaching. In fact, when we received complaints about just that, we hired mercenaries to deal with the issue. So that's what brought Gerald. Hmm? What was that? Nothing. Look, just take the handkerchief. 
I'm returning something I borrowed from a friend. Very well. As your friend, I will accept it. You know, I really wish you wouldn't think of nobles as always giving and commoners as only receiving. Friends help each other, without thinking about status, and that help goes both ways. Quite so. And when I require the aid of a friend, I assure you I will happily recognize it. But only with friends. In the main, I must continue to refuse assistance from the common folk. For a noble to accept would be disgraceful. <laughs> I always thought he was just stuck up. Turns out, he just has this grand idea of nobility he's trying to live up to. Oh no! I didn't even give him the handkerchief! It's only a scratch, Leone. I'm alright. One mistake like that in battle and you're done. This is your weapon hand, isn't it? Let me stop the blood. Apologies for the trouble. No trouble. And no apologies. Thanks is what you say when a friend helps you out. <sighs> Darn. What's wrong? I need a bandage to stop the bleeding, but this is all I've got. My handkerchief. I was only carrying it around to give back to you anyway. Mind if I use it for this? Very well. I suppose that's fitting in a way. <laughs> I guess so. Not that I'm happy you're bleeding. I'm glad you'll accept it, though. In the past, you might have refused it. Yes. I might have made it an issue of commoners giving aid to the nobility or some such. I didn't understand why you were so strict about it, but I think I kind of get it now. You know, if every noble were like you, the world would be a better place. Perhaps, but you were right. Many great deeds are accomplished by friends working together, especially when those friends are as capable as you. Me? I hope this is not the first time I have told you this, Leone, but you are an exceptional individual. By insisting on matters of status and dealing with you, I have done you a terrible disservice. For that, please accept my apology. Let us promise to look out for one another as friends from now on. No need for vows. That's how I've always seen it. You weren't wrong about nobles and commoners each having their own roles. But the important thing is we help each other. That is precisely what being friends with you has helped me to understand. In fact, I've begun somewhat to think of you as rather something more. Huh? Sorry, what did you say? I said, I hope we'll always give each other support. 